Okay, so why is the Philippines the number one place for Westerners, Americans, Canadians, people from the UK and Canada? By the numbers, it will say Thailand because Thailand is the sex tourism capital of the world. They have legal marijuana, um, extremely beautiful country, extremely beautiful women. But I'll tell you why Philippines is the better choice and why it is currently gaining ground, why it's the number one genre on YouTube and things of that nature. Um, first of all, the people. The friendliness of the people is unmatched, much more friendly than Thailand. Um, it's just a fact. Um, secondly, the language. Everyone speaks fluent English. Like, And when I say everyone, I mean everyone. Your grab driver, a 50 year old, uh, the women that you meet, you can say sarcastic things to them and they will understand you. Can You can flirt with them and they will understand you. Sometimes when you're new to a language, um, you know, if somebody says something in jest or if someone speaks to me in Tagalog and say I understand a couple of words, but then they say a joke, I'm not going to understand it because I'm going to take it at face value. People in the Philippines, their English is good enough that they can understand that you're flirting with them or that you said a sarcastic comment or something. Um, it's just a very pleasant surprise. Um, in general, um, the Philippines is just going to be a different type of experience than something that you would get in the West. Um, the women, if you're looking for an actual woman to date or marry preferably, um, this is definitely the place. I mean, your pension check or your social security check or your savings or your digital nomad gig, even if you're making 1200 bucks a month, will go far enough that you and your partner can have a decent life if you know how to play your money correctly. Um, all those people saying 1800 is a sweet spot and this and that, uh, not really, not really. Uh, if you're not taking care of anyone's family or you're not traveling a lot or going to the bar or eating out every day, you can live an excellent life if you rent a place for 15,000 pesos and you guys cook at home most of the time and you just like buy a scooter or whatever. You, you can live an excellent quality of life. Maybe not right here where I am or something, but most people don't want to live here anyway. This is the city. A lot of people want to live in Dumaguete or they want to live in, you know, Angeles or they want to live in uh, one of these other places that are very popular with expats. So at the end of the day, um, the language, the people, the women, um, the overall vibe of the Philippines, when you get off that airplane that first time, is absolute magic. It's, it's really hard to explain, um, but from the, the karaoke, to the chickens, to the dogs running in the street, um, there's something about the wild side of the Philippines. Not what you're looking at right now with the you know Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces driving by and the, the richest top of the top for the people that made it, but the actual real deal Philippines, not, uh, you know, the skyscrapers and the safety and basically the little America that we're in right now, which I do love, but more of the, um, you know, Barakai when you move away from the water, um, Lapu Lapu, um, do, uh, Negros, uh, whatever, uh, the real Philippines. I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, most people have been there and you've certainly been through there. Um, when you're leaving the airport in Mactan, you're there. You're seeing dogs running in the street. You're seeing, you know, the, the, the real deal Philippines. But yeah, uh, this is just the number one place. I mean, the language means so much. You not have to use translator. The signage being in English. Um, the fact that there is excellent food. And really, most of the people that come over here are not women. They are men. When they come over here to live or to stay for an extended vacation, they are men. And most of those men have women in mind much more so than myself as someone that's just been enjoying the country and the women have been a side benefit. A lot of guys come here for a mission to find a wife. This is the place. This is ground zero for finding that wife. I'm telling you that you're not going to do better than that Filipina. You know, there's a reason why so many Filipinas are nurses. They are such caring people that will take such good care of you and treat you so well. And you, you do need to provide financially for most of these women. And there's nothing wrong with that. And most men are prepared to do that and want to do that as they would in any country. So I truly, truly believe that this is the number one place 
and I believe we're starting to see that. This is definitely a bigger genre on YouTube than Thailand. And um, if it wasn't for marijuana and sex tourism, this would be a more popular destination as well. So just keep that in mind when you're making your list. And I know a lot of people are thinking Thailand or they're going back and forth to different places and stuff. But at the end of the day, um, you know, you might end up in the Philippines. You might want to change your plan and, um, you know, just come straight to the Philippines. But, you know, it's totally up to you. But I just wanted to give you an unbiased opinion because I do love Thailand and I love Thai women, but I'm giving you really an unbiased opinion of what it really is and why this is the number one place to come to for all of the reasons that I just listed. So just wanted to make a quick video about that and hopefully you take that into consideration when planning your vacation or move or your test run and you come here for at least a week. You can go to Thailand for a week or two weeks and come here for a week or two. And, uh, you know, come to wherever suits your flavor. Go on YouTube and, 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 you know, see with the different vloggers in different cities from Angeles to guys like me and BGC and Barakai to the Dumaguete guys, to the Cebu people, um, to, you know, there's a vlogger for every city. So see what suits you and make sure you go to a couple different places if you have time. And uh, definitely please give uh, the Philippines a consideration on your list of places that you may reside in in the future. All right, thanks so much. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will catch you guys on the next one.